Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in once again. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and kindly subscribe to the channel. So today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my DNA test results. I took DNA tests with two reputable companies. One is 23andMe and one is Ancestry.com. So today we're going to be taking a look at those results and comparing them, seeing what the differences are, and seeing what the similarities are. So as you can see on the left side is the 23andMe results and on the right side is the Ancestry.com results. Okay, so now let's take a dive into the 23andMe results. Saying it's showing Sub-Saharan African 78.9%. Then under that, another category, a broad category, West African 64.6%. Ghanaian, Liberian, and Syria, Sierra Leone, 28%. Nigerian, 22%. Senegambian and Ghanaian, 2.8%. Now, if you go to the, uh, to the right side and look at the ancestry.com, we'll take a look at what this shows. Cameroon and Congo and Western Bantu people, 21%. Nigerian, 19%. Benin Tango, 18%. Mali, 17%. England and Northern Europe, 6%. Scotland, 6%. Ivory Coast and Ghana, 5%. Sweden, 2%. Now, as you can see by just looking at these results, the way they categorize things are quite different. So it seems it's confusing. It's definitely confusing. So what I've done here, I've just looked at the ones that are the same and on this particular page, I see two similarities, which is Nigerian is 22.5%, but over here, Nigeria is 19%, and Ghanaian, Liberia, Liberian, and Sierra Leone is 28%, Ivory Coast and Ghana, 5%. Now, the percentages are quite different as well. I don't really understand why taking a DNA test with two different companies, why the results come back quite different. But what is fairly the same is it shows that my ancestry, I have strong ancestry on the continent of Africa. So that's without a doubt. Even being that this these results are fairly confusing, you can still see that I have a strong DNA matches on the continent of Africa. Now this is another page. 23andMe results are their DNA tests. It seems to me that they dive in a little deeper and they have more categories of naming the places where your DNA is found. So let's just take a look at this one. Let's compare the two. Well, let's read them all. Brawley, West African, 10%. Congolese and Southern East African, 12%. Angolan and Congolese, 8%. Southern East African, 1.2%. Brawley, Congolese, and Southern East African, 3%. African hunter-gatherer, 1.1%. Broadly, sub-Saharan African, 0.8%. Now, 
Now, moving on to Ancestry.com, we got Cameroon and Congo and Western Bantu people, 21%. Nigeria, 19%. Benin and Tango, 18%. Mali, 17%. England and Northern Europe, 6%. Scotland, 6%. Ivory Coast and Ghana, 5%. Sweden, 2%. Two percent. As you can see, I've just marked the, the ones that are similar. So you got the Congolese and Southern East African is twelve percent here, but over here, Cameroon, Congo, Western Bantu people, twenty-one percent. And this goes the same for this one. Angolan, Congolese. You see Congo. So I just matched it up. Eight point one percent over here, still twenty-one percent. And this one. It's broadly Congolese, Southern East African, 3%. Back over here is 21%. Now, like I said, the, the way they categorize things are quite different, so it seems confusing, and I'm not quite sure why they seem to differ like this. Like, I'm not even, um, I don't even understand what African hunter-gatherer means. Broadly sub-Saharan African. So, what I would like to do, I'm gonna, I would like to engage in some conversations with anybody who can explain these categories a little better to me, because I'm not understanding what all of this means and why they differ so much. You know, I'm one person, so I don't understand why they, they're differing the way they are differing. But as I said before, what you can clearly see is that I have a strong DNA in on the continent of Africa. I'm strongly connected to people on the African continent. So my forefathers, the majority of my DNA, my forefathers came from the continent of Africa. Now here's another view. It, they, it, they break it down some more. Now, on the left is, as you can see, 23 and me. Let's take a look. European. 17%. So I have 17% European flowing through my veins. Northern Europe, 16%. British and Irish, 15.7%. Broadly Northwestern European, 1.2%. Broadly European, 0.4%. East Asian, and Native American, 3.1%. Native American, 1.7%. Chinese and Southeast Asian, 1.4%. Filipino and Austrian, 1.4%. Now, moving on to the Ancestry.com, we got Ireland, 1%. Germanic Europe, 1%. Southern Philippines, 1%. Northern Africa, 1%. Indonesian, Americas, Yucatan. Peninsula, 1%. Senegal, 1%. Now, as you can see, I just matched up what seems to me to be the same. But as you can see here, with 23 Me, it's saying that I have my blood has 17% European in it. Now, the breakdown of that is, I guess, the different countries from where my blood is seen to be the same as the people that are there. So, Ireland, on this side, it's only showing 1%, but over here, it's on 15.7%. Germanic Europe, that's just the overall Europe. So, that's 17%, but over here, it's on 1%. 
Southern Philippine, connected to here, Chinese and South Asian, 1.7%. Southern Philippines, Filipino, Austrian, 1.4%. So, like I said, it seems confusing because I'm just one person. So, to me, I don't understand why. I mean, I, I see that they categorize things a little different, but I still feel like the test is is it, it's showing the percentages are just off. They, I feel like they should be a little closer. Now, I understand that they categorize things differently, but it's just is confusing. Let me take a look real quick. European, I'm 17%. I think I, I had European over here. Yeah, Northwestern Europe, 6%. Scotland would still be Europe, 6%. Sweden, 2%. So, as you can see, Majority of my DNA is found on the continent of Africa, and I have a bit of European in me, 17%. I'm not sure what the percentage would be on Ancestry.com, but as you can see, it still shows that I have European blood flowing in me, 6%, 6%, and 2%. So like I said, this is just... The way they categorize things are different, so it just comes off confusing. If anybody knows what African hunter-gatherer is, you can leave a comment and just let me know, because I have no idea what that means. No idea whatsoever. Let's see what else. Broadly European. What is the what does that even mean? Broadly European. I don't understand the, the terms that they're using. And then Germanic Europe. What does that mean? What does that mean? Now this is like the last page of the results. This first one is twenty three and me. It just Trace ancestry 0.4%, unassigned 0.3%. Now, I don't know why anything will be unassigned. What, is, what are they saying? That I have some alien in me? If anybody knows, you can leave a comment. I have no idea what that means. And then on the ancestry side, there's just additional communities where I guess my ancestry is found early. North Carolina, African Americans, Mid Atlantic Coast, African Americans, Virginia, North Carolina, border, African Americans, South Carolina, African Americans, Greater Columbia, South Carolina, African Americans. Yes, I'm not, I don't really even understand what this means. So, Feel free to leave a comment, and if you could help me clarify some of these results, that would be appreciated. Wouldn't mind having some dialogue. If you guys also took your test, you can leave you know, some comments, and we can talk about it, possibly compare them, see how yours differs from mine's. We'll start. I'll just give you a last look at it before I end it. Hey, 